Hey guys, it's Erica, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about pest prevention for your houseplants. So summertime is coming up, and I don't know about you, but I like to take my plants outside for summer vacation during the warmer months, but I don't want them to get any bugs or anything. Just in general, I don't ever want my plants to have bugs. Ever since my alocasia friedic had spider mites, I have been crazy about my plants getting bugs. I do not ever want it to happen again. So my alocasia got spider mites like maybe six months ago and it is barely recovering. Even though I got rid of the spider mites very quickly, it still took a really long time for it to recover. So it's always better to prevent the bugs than to have to get rid of them maybe potentially having them spread to your other plants and then letting your plant recover is probably the the longest part of the process is getting your plant back to looking as beautiful as it did before it had bugs that is why i now spray my plants with a neem oil solution every two weeks every week and a half or so so that they will hopefully never get bugs again. I have a spray bottle always filled up with some neem oil solution. What I'll do is I'll put a little bit of pure neem oil, a little bit of peppermint soap, and then I'll mix it up with water. And that is the solution that I use for all my plants. I like to add the soap and the oil before I add the water so they can kind of mix a little bit before I pour in the water because the oil kind of separates. I absolutely love neem oil, but it smells horrible. It really smells bad, so I will usually do this outside. Also, if you use pure neem oil, it can kind of harden in the bottle, and that doesn't mean it went bad or anything. You just have to put it into, like, if you have a tub of warm water you can just sit it in there and then it'll slowly kind of liquefy again and then you can use it because in the winter it tends to kind of harden and then in the spray bottle it can also kind of harden and like attach itself to the sides especially when you're kind of running low when you refill the bottle it'll kind of just mix into the solution again so you don't gotta worry about that when i mix my ingredients together i like to add the soap first i use Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap, which you can order off Amazon. Um, I've sometimes seen it at Ross for cheaper, but if you only have Dawn, you can use Dawn. I used to use that because it smelled a lot better than the peppermint soap and it would kind of mask the smell of the neem oil, but I use the peppermint soap now because you guys actually recommended it to me and it works pretty well. And then I will add 100% cold pressed neem oil. And you wanna make sure that when you're getting the neem oil that it's 100% neem oil because there will sometimes be like 70% neem oil and then something else is mixed inside. It doesn't really matter what brand as long as it's 100% neem oil. The one that I have, I got off of Amazon and I think I just picked maybe the cheapest one or the first one that I saw. When I add the water, I make sure it's kind of warm and not cold. For me, it seems that it kind of helps the ingredients mix together more easily when the water is warm. And I have a pretty small spray bottle. I would recommend that you get a bigger one than the one that I have because the solution runs out so quickly, especially since you're kind of saturating a plant almost every time that you use it. Yeah, a bigger one would be better because I have to refill this thing very often. And then just remember that whenever you're going to use your solution, you give your bottle a little shake because the neem oil does sometimes separate from the rest of the solution and it kind of sits at the top so you want to make sure that's mixed in together. Like I said, I do this every one and a half to two weeks. So on a watering day, I'll take my plant outside and hose off the leaves. I'll get rid of any dust or dead leaves because those both can attract bugs. And then I'll kind of let the plant dry off a little bit, let it sit. Once it's kind of dried off a little bit, I'll come in with the neem oil. I like to really drench the leaves until the plant is dripping and I make sure to cover the top of the leaves, the bottom, the stems, and the soil. If you can't do this outside, your sink is a perfect spot, your bathtub is a perfect spot. I would just really recommend you do not do this just like out like in your room where the plant normally lives because you're gonna be spraying all the stuff around you and 
I keep saying it, but neem oil smells really nasty. So definitely do it in a sink or a bathtub, but I really like to do it outside. If you're doing this process outside, make sure that there's no direct sunlight on the plant because the neem oil kind of sensitizes it to sunlight, so it will burn a lot easier. And then that's pretty much what I do. Whenever I do take my plants outside for summer break and before I take them out, I'll kind of spray them down with the neem oil just so bugs don't start going on there. And whenever I bring them back in also, I will spray them down as well because I do not want any aphids or anything getting onto my plants and then spreading to the other ones that I have here. Every time you water your plants, I would recommend, you know, keeping an eye on the leaves of your plants, making sure you don't see anything suspicious. Uh, you don't need to go in there with a magnifying glass or anything, but just kind of be aware of what's going on. If you see your leaves getting dusty, you can dust them off because spider mites love dusty plants. Also keep an eye to see if there are some yellowing leaves on your plants. If you see like yellow polka dots everywhere, that could potentially be a bug. Or if there's just a bunch of dying or curling, deforming leaves, those are all potentially caused by bugs as well. And you do want to catch as early as possible because having a full-blown <laughs> infestation is one of the worst things ever. It's probably already spread to a bunch of plants by then. So just in general, it's a lot easier to prevent the bug infestation than to have to go back and kind of heal your plant up. Every time you get a new plant, I would highly recommend spraying it down and making sure there's no bugs on that plant because that's also a really easy way to get a new infestation is when you bring a new plant home that's infested. So I think those are all my tips. That's pretty much everything I do to prevent bugs. And if I forget to spray the neem oil spray on one of my plants, they are probably going to get bugs. That's how my that's how my glacier pothos got horribly infected with mealybugs is because I didn't spray it down for a long time and then it somehow suddenly got mealybugs. That is it for today's video. I know it was a short one, but I hope you guys liked it. And leave any comments down below of what you do to prevent bugs on your plants. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!